Good afternoon, and welcome to a quick episode of Q Stick Q. What you gonna do? I don't know, but something's gonna grow. It's the Q Stick Q Stick Q Stick Q Stick Show. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Q Stick Q. <coughs> Excuse me. I am having another sinus attack. The headaches, all that stuff has returned. So I haven't been on, but I wanted to come on briefly today to show you the jungle, okay? <laughs> it's a difference in here, isn't it? Uh, we're getting our last push. This is, you know, to heading towards the end of August. And in Michigan, usually the gardens end in September, but the greenhouse will go up until November. My tomatoes are really coming in fiercely. I have some here. Let's see. I've got more flowers over there. Here's a tomato. There's a tomato. Everywhere's a tomato, tomato. There's a tomato back there. I've got one up there. So they're coming in good, and I plan to make my tomato jelly. I'm a can for the first time this year. So I'm doing tomato jelly. Uh, I ended up getting some nectarines uh, from the farmer's market. I mean, not the farmer's market, but from the pantry. So I'm doing nectarine jelly, um, uh, blackberry, no, not blackberry, mulberry jelly and cherry jelly. I went out and bought a lot of cherries and I got them all cut and frozen and pitted for some cherry jelly. And uh, it's another one I'm doing, I can't remember, but every one are unusual jellies that you don't find in the store. So I decided I'm not gonna do the strawberry or grape, although I have both fruits. But those are the kind that those are the jellies you can find in the store. I want something unusual. My celery is coming along. Look, my crowder peas are about to crowder. So there they are. They're coming into bloom. So I should get some crowder peas. Uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with that loofah. I've seen flowers on it and all that stuff, but it looks like it's dying now. So if it's a disaster, oh well. I've had a lot of failures this year. My ground cherry plant has taken off fiercely. Uh, I've got that cabbage head back there still, and look at the greens, they're growing after I did the cut and come again. So I'm waiting on the first frost to get those last leaves up at the top that are getting bigger and it's growing. So I should do well. And uh, I'm running out of room in this greenhouse too. I've got tomatoes even on this plant, the, the uh, indeterminate. Uh, I just plucked some okra, it's in my pocket, but I still have more okra coming. That's doing very well right now. It's 90 degrees in here. It's been hitting over a hundred in this greenhouse, but Today it hit 90, so that's good because it's only like 80 outside. And then later this week, we're supposed to be in the 90s, so it's going to be 120 in here. So I'm going to have to be careful. I had to bring my strawberries in here because my runners have gotten so crazy. Now, this is the Ozark. And as you can see, there's lots of growth. I have a runner here. See that one? And then I have a runner here starting and I have another runner here. So what I want to try to do before the end of the season is uh, to get these uh, runners, get these plants rooted from the runners so I can have more plants for next year. Oh, and the white pine has just gone ham. This is the one plant that I got for my friend, my garden buddy. And here she has, I get, this was just one little plant from the runner, the very first runner that it threw off. And it has since developed one, two, three, four. It, it was one plant, it's developed three more and a fourth one is coming now. And then, and, and another reason I brought these in the greenhouse is because the runners were running on the ground and I didn't want them to take root up front. And then this one, look at the, the runners off of this one now. Remember, this was that $32 plant that ended up costing 16 half off from Starks. It has done, it has served me well. Look at this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, an eighth, and a ninth. 
10, 11, 12 plants coming. And so I was trying to wait until next week because I don't want those new plants that are not coming to not develop because I can take them all off. This greenhouse is buying me time to do this. So I'm gonna take them all off, but I'm only gonna have a few weeks to get them rooted. So I've already got my containers ready. You just put them in water. I put my friend's plant in water for, I think a week. It took root immediately. Within days I saw new roots and the roots got long within a week and I planted it out after that. And it's been doing great ever since. So here it is, I named her Straw Bertha. Okay, so here's a lot of other strawberries. So next year, I'm gonna start off with at least 13 plants from this one plant. So that $16 I paid was worth every penny. So, but what I'm going to do, because I didn't know that this was gonna happen with the wildness and these strawberries going ham like they have, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend that $139 15% off with, uh, I forgot <laughs> the name of the homesteader. I got to find her video, but I'm going to buy that dog on green stalk. I'm going to buy one. I got to pay that money, but I'm not going to get it until winter and, it, and I'll set it up next spring. And that will be for the strawberries. And then if I have to buy another one later, I will. But, uh, that's going to be my best bet because with all these runners and the way that these strawberries grow, Putting them in a big pot isn't gonna work. That's not even gonna last. Okay, let's come out here for a minute and then I'm gonna get off because y'all know we're almost at 10 minutes. And I have to go back to my farmer's market. I've been going to my farmer's market and I might take you on location today when I go. I'm going to get the plums today. Oh, that's the, the other jelly I'm gonna make, the plum. So I'm going to get plums from the farmer's market to make plum jelly as well. With the, along with the cherry jelly. Look at my peppers. They have come back since I did that last plucking. So here they are. And look at these Cuban nails. They're getting big. So I'm gonna leave these on until they get a look, lot bigger. But look what decided to bloom, y'all. The patty pan squash. And I have pollinators. So hopefully, see that? I got a flower in there. I don't wanna move things around too much. But surprisingly enough, it bloomed, it, it flowered for me and bloomed, and I have some female plants in there. So hopefully I will get some patty pan squash after all. Okay, y'all. So, and my flowers, they falling over. Oh, and my potatoes, my Irish way potatoes came up. I'm calling them Irish way now. I was just, I just threw them in because my seed potatoes started going bad because I ordered them and I was gonna plant them out this fall and then uh, let them come up next year. But they started going bad and I didn't want my little bit of money to go to waste. So I just planted them here in the keyhole garden and they have come up. But I did hear that you can let the frost hit them and they'll die back and we'll come back next year. So that's another scientific experiment. I've been pulling green beans all day, every day, okay? Then we have the potato plant over here. It has flowered, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, the hay is at my store now, so I'm gonna pick some of that up. Uh, I'm gonna wait until early September, pick up some hay and get this healed off. And then I'm gonna get all the other hay that I'm gonna use to to uh, put over this black stuff that's out here. Okay, so I just wanted to give y'all this update. I didn't want y'all to think that I, I'ma be one of those YouTubers who just come on whenever I feel like it, every two or three years. Oh, my patty pan that I started from seed, it came up and it's growing pretty good in here. I don't think I'ma get any squash. So I'm happy that that other one finally decided to do what it's supposed to do late in the season. But anyway, I'ma get on off of here and uh, get ready to head on to my to my farmer's market and I will pick up with you uh, there as well. I will talk to you later and may God bless you all. Bye-bye.